Exercise for less. for less, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back back in days. Yeah, man, just be, bro, this is what I'm doing. Now I'm doing a video, yeah? yeah. Showing everyone what I eat. <laughs> yeah, full time bodybuilder now, man. Yeah, I love, bro. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? So I'm outside Aldi right now, and I'm going to run you through my weekly shop. Wait, it's not going to be a weekly shop. We're going to do about four days of food in this shop and then you can kind of get a, a good gauge of what I spend over say like a four day period on the food that I'm at right now so I'm eating 450 grams of carbs a day as I gets higher obviously the, the cost goes higher as I gets lower obviously the cost go lower now there are a few things that I do not buy from Aldi I don't always shop at Aldi sometimes I might get my meat from the butchers more often than not maybe Costco um, there's things like turkey rashers, which you can only get in like Morrison's and Asda and stuff like that. So there's a few little bits that I might not be able to grab, but overall you can get like a decent idea, understanding of what a shop looks like as a bodybuilder. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so first things first, we're in the fruit section, we're all the veg, fruit and veg. So we'll grab the fruit and veg first. We're gonna get spinach. I use spinach on like all my meals. It's my main sauce. And it's just, cause it's just fucking easy, innit? Spinach. It's just easy. So, one bag of spinach. We gotta get the strawberries. I like fresh rather than frozen because frozen don't taste nice. Then we gotta grab the avocados. With the avocado, the secret is you gotta like squeeze them. And if it's squishy like this, then it means it's good. But if you get one that's like rock solid, yeah, don't buy it because then you're not gonna be able to eat it. So it's not right. I think that's the word for it. it takes me ages to pick my avocados. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Pineapple is so much cheaper to buy a full pineapple than buying like pineapple chunks. You can buy a full pineapple, what's this, 95p? Still keeping it in the veg section. Banana. Now you want a couple that are ripe because you want to be able to eat them in the next few days. Then you want a few that are green because then they'll last longer. So we'll grab what, like, let's grab, because I'm eating about 100 grams a day, I think. So, um, two green ones, and then one like more yellowy one. You know how weird I feel like walking around with this camera like this, I feel like an absolute idiot. We're gonna grab some apples as well. If you have anything other than Granny Smith apples, then we are not gonna be friends. I have one apple a day. All right, all right, mate. These baskets are horrible as well. How am I supposed to move this around? Yo, you don't roll on the wheels properly. Meats, 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 meats. I'm just gonna grab one of these large packs. I'm pretty sure I go through this in four days. I'm pretty sure I will. Yeah, more than likely. One thing I've done over the past couple of weeks to improve my digestion is actually increase the chicken I'm eating and reduce the weight. I had weight higher and it just wasn't doing well in my stomach at all. And as soon as I reduced the weight and put in more chicken, it made my stomach a lot better. So if you're having issues with digestion and stomach and bloating, reduce your weight and put it in with some meat. Okay, so we get onto the beef now. So last meal of the day is always beef. So 200, that's like one meal there. So that'll do two meals. So if we're doing this for four days, we want a bigger pack. Let's grab this one. So what I'll do, cause that's 750 grams of lean beef steak mince, what I'll do is 200 grams times four, and then an egg. That'll give me 50 grams of protein in that meal, if I'm right off the top of my head. I'm gonna move that mic around because I feel like it might be getting trapped. Next up, we're gonna grab some yogurt. You gotta be careful as well because some of these say like Greek style, yeah, but it's Greek. I don't think Greek style is actually the same as 0% fat, like Greek yogurt, like actual. I think Greek style and Greek is different i'm sure i've looked at the macros before and that's what it's come out to yeah look you see you got this one here which is the actual zero percent fat greek and then look at this you've got the greek style natural yogurt there the macros on that are shitter than the macros on this this is actual greek that is greek style so yeah be careful they fucking catch you out there because it's natural yogurt but maybe it's it's greeks i don't know what greek style means is it thicker um, but yeah, don't get caught out by the Greek style. Get the actual 0% Greek. Right, dark chocolate. I've actually got some peanut butter in, so do I actually need dark chocolate? Not really, but we'll grab some dark chocolate because it's something that we usually would put in. Um, one of my favorite 
fat sauces because it makes you feel like you're eating proper chocolate and I'm a chocolate addict. I mean, well, it is proper chocolate. It just tastes a bit different, doesn't it? It's not like milky and creamy. I think that's all I need from this section. Get me out of this section now. You know what is banging though? These. When I'm on higher carb days, like doing more and I'm allowed more, I will smash these. Or sometimes when I'm out and about, we go for the sweet chili rice cakes. Something I might get every now and again is tins of tuna, just to have in the cupboard for if something happens and I need to rapid, okay, I need to, I've got this going on, this going on, I'll just smash some tuna, potato or something like that, rather than making like a, a different meal. So tuna's always good to have stocked in a cupboard, but um, I think I've got some, so don't need to grab any today. We just need like essential stuff. I put this on a lot of meals, not on a lot of meals, on my breakfast meal, and I think that's about it. <laughs> for sata, and sometimes I put it on my evening meals, depending on if I do a burger with the mince, or if I make like a chili sort of thing. I use tomato for sata. If you look at the, per quarter of this jar, it's 58 calories. That's per quarter, so what per half of this, we're looking at 100 calories. You don't use half, you literally just use like a little smidge, maybe mix it in with a little bit of water, and you're absolutely sorted. One pound 69 for this. But if you're on a budget, these ones are sick as well. They're just a little, these are what, 55p? Um, what else do we need from here? Potatoes, potatoes. Right, so I just got back to mine now and I've seen that the video cut out for some reason and it missed a bunch of stuff that I got. You got a lot of the main important stuff, but we missed almond milk. I then picked up some peppers. I picked up some onions. Um, I went to look for some rice, but I, I have a big bag of rice anyway. Let me go find that big bag of rice because this is what you how you want to be buying your big bags of rice anyway. You want to go to some Asian shops or whatever, Abu Bakr or whatever, and get this big 10kg bags of rice anyway. You don't want to be getting them from Aldi. Um, but yeah, I grabbed a few extra stuff, but it didn't get on the video. Anyway, subscribe, continue watching. Love. It's fucking broke. Yo, can I go grab another one of these? Yeah, that's yeah, it, my G. Uh, so this is why it's coming out to £44.39 and like you've seen a few of these will last a little bit longer than four days but on average we're looking at around four or five days here that chicken's probably gonna last me a little bit longer but you gotta eat big you gotta eat good if you want to get big shit i need a bag shit i need a bag can i rub some bags where are the bags oh there's only got these shit green ones oh quick while he's not here Robbed. Yeah, fuck them green ones.